I feel like this fight kind of changes the landscape of M MMA in a bit. Um, you know, I, I feel like only two sets of rankings matter, right? 20 guys. Um, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm, fighting for, I'm fighting for one of those numbers. And, and on, on the side, I just, where I was um, a few fights ago and where I'm at now, um, it's, it's huge. Um, and so with a win, it means a lot for MMA. Switching promotion, getting a win, and then right back in this spot. Uh, it kind of gets past that and get right, um, you know, make people forget um, about, about the past. And when you look back at the last time you fought for Bellator in the state of Hawaii, you were a guy at that time trying to make a name for yourself, trying to, to gain traction. And then now fast forward and you're one of the names uh, on the marquee for the, the Hawaii fight fans that are coming along with Alima and Yancey. I mean, how much pride do you take in that, that you're a strong representative of Hawaii MMA? Uh, yeah, I take, I take lots of pride in that. Um, just, you know, that's what I wanted as a little kid, the, the whole way up, is to be one of the best. I'm not trying to be a hometown hero. I'm trying to be a household name. So, um, yeah, then that's, that's, this is always the goal. And, you know, you need to be in that situation at times. I mean, you, at some point. You got, you got to be the guy coming up. You got to be the guy coming up, you know, um, to mature, to, to know if you're ready. And at that time, I wasn't ready, and that's, that's the truth. Um, but, you know, you, with, with adversity, um, with every fight and every fight camp, even in the fights that I've ha that had in the past, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the next level every time.